Hi hi everyone, today we are making Battenberg bath bombs and it's a different technique, again it's one of the simplest techniques for making effective bath bomb or bath fizzer or whatever you want to call them. So again I've got my two dishes because we're doing two colours today. So we're doing a pink and a yellow. And the main colour is the yellow and the smaller colour is the pink. some of the pink in the small container and some of the yellow and it looks orange but it's actually yellow and we'll just gently stir in the pink first blended in there's always some stuck on the bottom and round the edges so I always go around and just scrape that and then mix that in We're going to mix in our yellow. Now it doesn't show up as a really bright yellow here but when it goes in the bath it's nice and bright. I actually like it in the bath bomb rather delicate. job is to spray in some water and we're going to go for 10 sprays in the pink 15 in the yellow
containers. I've had them literally since I started, since I had my first shop. So I can't remember where I got them from. Okay, so here we have, it's a cat litter tray. Of course we have no cats, it's just a tray for making products and I'm just going to sprinkle that out like that and then I'm going to put the pink on the top, it's just so simple this technique, worked fantastically well. And then we will just get our moulds and make sure you scoop some of the colour underneath. Pop it in like so. Squeeze it together. Scrape off the excess. I like to give it a tap. And I like to pop a couple of elastic bands around there. Just keeps it nice and tight. smells amazing this bath bomb again this is a fragrance I've carried since I literally started I think it was my first bestseller I call it Battenberg now but it used to be Almond I think I called it Almond well I'm pretty sure I called it Almond so it's like a marzipan smell And if you're interested, we now have an Instagram page if you want to follow us on there. And I'll try and upload a little bit of something every day. The link will be in the description box. So we have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Pinterest. Oh, also Snapchat, but... I'll share the snapchats on Instagram and the great thing with snapchat is you can just do a little bit of something instead of making a great big video I can just do one of those very short 30 second videos So you can see what I'm doing every single day, more or less. When I'm crazy, psyched out busy, I might not have time. And this will make at least 15 uh, bath bombs. And then also, when these are unmoulded, we'll decorate them. With pink glitter.
so that's 12 bath bombs already it's nice and quick this one that's why I like it you're not spooning a bit of this in a bit of that I'm not using too much effort at all trying to push them together that's a mistake I made in the past I would pack as much in as I could to each mould and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until my wrists were hurting So that's 18 already and we're going to get another one out of there. And then with what's left over, I will use these small moulds that were from Ikea. And just use up what's left in there. And then these go into our gift boxes. I wish I'd bought more of these. They don't sell them anymore, I'm afraid. They might bring them back someday. And all us bath bomb makers all over the world will be scavenging in, in for them. I'm sure I had more than this, but I don't know what I did with them. But these are so strong. You know, I've had these for years and they haven't damaged at all. Where these ones, they do get damaged pretty easily. used up just about all of it of course you could just make bath crumble if you haven't got any small moulds and we'll be back soon with the unmoulding and decoration okay so we're just going to unmould these Battenbergs now I have unmoulded a couple and that's basically the effect you get but there'll be more def definition when I get down to the first ones that I made.
So just needing a little bit more of extra tapping compared to the last ones we did. But they're all moulding pretty well actually. sort of hear the sound change when it's released from the mould. I love that the lighter yellow is light because when it goes in the bath it's actually quite vibrant so you don't expect it. So this is just the same recipe as last time, two to one. So two bicarb to one citric acid. And I definitely think that works the best for the fizzing action. And then we're going to dip these in pink glitter, hot pink glitter which has proved to be very popular. And of course it is cosmetic glitter so it just rinses off the skin and rinses out of the bath. With most bath bombs you're going to get a little bit of mess. To me, that's all part of the fun. And these have been outside for quite a few hours it's lovely and cold a nice frosty day is perfect frosty and dry soap should be melted now so that these are just ready to dip so hopefully I won't have to stop the camera that's our pot of glitter I've got my soap here and 
I always pop these Pyrex dishes onto a cloth because I've shattered a few in my time and they really do shatter um, putting them from the hot onto the cold surface they just shatter like crazy so can you still see what I'm going to do That's it. We'll see it now. So I like to stir this now and every now and again and we're just gonna dip so much of the bath bomb and then pop it straight in the glitter looks good Nice and simple. You have to be careful not to drop the bath bomb in your soap. Or whatever you're going to dip them in. You could dip them in um, alcohol. But not water because that makes them fizz. lucky there I didn't break one more often than not at least one gets broken in a batch and I think maybe this time it's just simply because it's nice and cold outside and that's our glitter and that's what the bath bombs look like all ready to go in the box